Are you smarter than a third grader? I've got 11 questions for you about stuff you learn from ages 8 to 10. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. Guys, Burt Reynolds died, and that's very sad. I love Burt Reynolds, one of my favorite actors of all time, from Boogie Nights to Smokey and the Bandit. R.I.P. Burt Reynolds, that mustache, that chest hair, that acting. What a great dude. Burt Reynolds, big part of my family growing up. We watched a lot of Burt Reynolds movies when I was a kid and into adulthood. My parents, I feel like Burt Reynolds always, those kinds of movies, those were like my parents' favorite movies. I feel like my parents liked Fleetwood Mac, uh, the Rumors album, and they liked Burt Reynolds movies, and that's about it. <laughs> so uh, my mom likes a Brandy Alexander around Christmas time, if you know that drink. But uh, they are very simple people, and those were great movies. And uh, we're going to miss Burt Reynolds, 82 years old, RIP. Today's episode of the show is all about third grade, everybody. Third grade. This is from a party I did over the weekend. It was a third grade back to school party. So California schools start a little bit later uh, into September. And these kids were all go back, going back to school. I think they went back on Wednesday. So this was a prelude party to going back to school. All the kids were around 8, 9, 10-ish. And their parents were there too. So it was in the backyard. And I'd say there were probably a dozen kids, maybe 15, 20 at the most. And most of them played and had some fun. We did five rounds of trivia from uh, Disney movies to stuff like this to uh, kids bop versions of songs, which are (laughs) hilariously edited. Um, If you've ever listened to kids bop, if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, And then we did this round about third grade uh, stuff, stuff you learn in third grade. So I thought I would do it on today's podcast. Usually the podcast is for adults, but maybe this is a podcast you could listen to with your kid. Maybe you have a kid that's around that age and they might get a kick out of this. So put it on. I'll try not to swear. I won't swear. I promise. And uh, you can see who gets more of these right. Because even as an adult, as a 32-year-old person, I did not know some of these (laughs) right away. I knew most of them, but I had to look up maybe like one. And uh, maybe you'll have to do the same. So we'll find out. But I'm going to ask these questions and you are going to try and answer them. And uh, if you don't have kids, just kind of play along and see if you learn something or remember something or uh, just have a good time. If you have a party coming up, maybe you have a back to school party. Maybe you are uh, throwing a kid's party and you want some questions and you're like, I can't afford to fly Ryan all the way from California to Nebraska, but I'd like to, uh, you know, use his questions and rounds and slides to host my own trivia night. You can do that. Shoot me an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com, R-Y-A-N-B-U-D-D-S at gmail.com, and I will hook you up. I'm doing that for a couple of parties this month with friends and listeners, and it should be a ton of fun. So uh, we're going to jump into these questions right now. They're about third grade, and let's see uh, how much you remember from your childhood. Here we go. All right. Happy Friday. Question number one, third grade. In what type of book would you find a map of Africa? Would that be a dictionary, an atlas, a recipe book, or a phone book? Question number one, in what type of book would you find a map of Africa? Dictionary, atlas, recipe book, or phone book? Question number two, what kind of animal is an invertebrate? Is it a lemur, a tiger, a jellyfish, or a robin? Question number two, what kind of animal is an invertebrate? Is it lemur, tiger, jellyfish, or robin? Question number three, what's another name for a long pointed tooth? Something a vampire might have. Question number three, what's another name for a long pointed tooth? Something a vampire might have. Third grade knowledge, question number four, what country is biggest? Is it the U.S., Canada, or Mexico? Question number four, what country is biggest, the U.S., Canada, or Mexico? Question number five, including home plate, how many total bases are there in a game of baseball? Question number five, including home plate, how many total bases are there in a game of baseball? Question number six, the rule for gravity is what goes up, and then you have to finish it. Number six, the rule for gravity is what goes up. Question number seven, which word is most related to the word software? Is it sweater, towel, 
computer, or cotton? Question number seven, which word is most related to the word software? Sweater, towel, computer, or cotton? Question number eight, how many legs do adult insects have? Number eight, how many legs do adult insects have? Question number nine, a magnet is attracted to objects made of what material? Question number nine, a magnet is attracted to objects made of what material? Question number 10, what is the middle color of a rainbow? Question number 10, what is the middle color of a rainbow? And your bonus question for two points if you are playing along at home. Besides the roots, what are the only, uh, what are the other two parts of a plant? Question number 11. For two points besides the roots, what are the other two parts of a plant? All right, guys, we'll play a sound effect and we'll be back with the answers to third grade trivia in just a second. And so here's what I propose. We finish these, get some roadies, head back to my huge penthouse, drink chilled champagne served by my valet. Isn't it pronounced valet? <laughs> Only if he's parking your car. Then we slip into my new hot tub and, you know, see where the evening takes us. Well, I have to wait until my friend comes back from the powder room. Well, yeah, obviously we're going to wait for her. She's the hot one. <gasps> Pig! <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, is something funny? Just the last part, where she slapped you. Yeah? You like physical humor? Depends on the situation. Ow! You okay? No, I'm not okay. Oh, my God. You're Burt Reynolds. Yes, I am. And if I let you up, are you going to do anything stupid? No. No, I'm not. Hi, uh, Sterling Archer. Sterling Archer? Yeah. You heard of me, huh? Well, right. just from your... Press clippings, yeah. It's pretty hard to stay anonymous when you're the world's greatest secret agent. Well, calling yourself that can't help. Uh, hang on. True story. Operation CIA, that movie's basically why I became a secret agent in the first place. Really? Yes. That movie was just god-awful. What's awful, Mr. Reynolds, is I almost punched you. <laughs> no, you didn't. And I've seen all your other movies like five times. Sam Whiskey, Navajo Joe, Fuzz, Hooper, Seamus, Shark, The Longest Yard, Deliverance, The Smokies, White Lightning, obviously Gator. Uh, oh, I, I even saw At Long Last Love. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought you were great. Really? I, I mean, well, I wanted to. Me too. Listen, uh, I kind of have a date. No, 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 Mr. Reynolds, uh, wait, uh, Sorry. Uh, let me buy you a drink. I, I want to tell you my idea for a Gator sequel. Gator was a sequel. I know, and this will be the final chapter in the McCluskey trilogy. Trilogy? Yeah, with, huh. with twice as many airboats as Gator. Twice as many would be none. What are you talking about? Gator had... Speedboats, not airboats. Really? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I directed it. Okay, but this one has airboats, okay? And they're central to the plot. That and... sounds great, kid, but like I said, I kind of have a date. So... I get it. You gonna take her upstairs and give her the longest yard? Uh... <laughs> yoo -hoo! What? Mother? What are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing here? I'm kicking it with... Bert? Uh, oh, no. Yeah. No. Remember how I said I kinda have a date? Oh. It's kinda with your mom. Oh, right. I hope that's not gonna be a problem. All right, third grade, let's see if you got all of these. I know there were two that might have been a little tricky no matter what age you are, but uh, hopefully you got most of these. Or if you are a kiddo, maybe you'll learn some stuff. Question number one, in what type of book would you find a map of Africa? Was it a dictionary, an atlas, a recipe book, or a phone book? Well, that would be an atlas, everybody. That's right, you have an atlas, you look up stuff. It's like a globe, but it's flat, like some people think the Earth is. Number two, what kind of animal is an invertebrate? Is it a lemur, a tiger, a jellyfish, or a robin? The answer was jellyfish. Jellyfish just sloshing around the ocean. Invertebrate. Number three, what is another name for a long pointed tooth? Something that a vampire might have. The answer was fang, like white fang. That was a movie I watched on Disney Channel when I was a kid. Number four, what country is the biggest? The U.S., Canada, or Mexico? It is Canada, but the U.S. is not far behind. I think they're both 9 million, I don't know, square miles, 9 point something, 8 I don't know. Look it up. Number four. Number five, including uh, home plate. How many total bases are there in a game of baseball? Four total bases. Four total bases. Number six, the rule for gravity is what goes up must come down. What goes up must come down. Number seven, which word is most related to the word software? Sweater, towel, computer, or cotton? The answer would be computer, like computer software. I did this round at an old folks' home, and they said, we didn't have that when we were kids. 
as they would. Number eight, how many legs does an adult insect have? Six, six legs. Speaking of insects, they just closed down Bugs Life Land at Disneyland on September 4th. So if you miss that, it'll never be there again. Number nine, a magnet is attracted to objects made of metal or iron, metal or iron. And number 10, what is the middle color of a rainbow? It is green. And the reason I remember that is the acronym Roy G. Biv. If you learned that growing up for the the names of the rainbow colors, you got Roy, which is red, orange, yellow. Then you got G for green. And then Biv is blue, indigo, violet if I remember correctly. So G is always in the middle. That is the middle color of a rainbow. And the bonus for two points besides the roots, what are the other two parts of a plant? Stem and leaves. Stem and leaves. There it is, guys. Very cut and dry, hopefully easy for you on a Friday, leading you into the weekend, some third grade trivia. Hope you liked it. Hope you had fun. Show me your scorecards. I want to see all the 100% out there. If you got 100% listening and playing along, Send a picture of your little post-it note or your note card to me. You could uh, send it to me on Twitter very easily, at Ryan Buds, R-Y-A-N-B-U-D-D-S. For all your trivia needs, go to TriviaWithBuds.com. And if you want to support this show, think about throwing a few bucks over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Trivia with Buds. For $5 or more a month, you get to pick a topic we do on this show. And we got some great ones coming up from my patron, uh, my patrons, and uh, their names are... Uh, on this list so far, Erica wants to do Snick Trivia from Nickelodeon Saturday Night Programming. Jess wants to do The Flintstones. Carrie M. wants to do How I Met Your Mother, and we actually put that episode out yesterday. So Carrie got uh, 13 out of 15. She sent me her score. Alexis, Alec Baldwin movies. That's a fun one. Manny says he wants to do a round on Archer. Alexander says Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which I just started watching from the very beginning. And Jen says Beauty and the Beast, the animated version. So all those episodes will be coming up in September. If you want to mold the show, make it your own, throw me $5 or more on Patreon, and you can pick a topic as well. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the show. I hope you have a great weekend. And if you have a party coming up, think about uh, hitting up me for some trivia, some services. I'll give you the questions. I'll give you everything you need to run it, or I'll come host it for you, whatever works for you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. 